interviews in the past year or hardly any, simply because I've been working on my new book. Now, anyone who has written a book, all right, knows that it's not the same writing a, co a comment on the chat forum that it is writing a book, which, you know... No, it's I very hard. I'm, I'm writing a book right now and pulling my hair out. It was supposed to be done a year ago. Seven days a week, 365 days a year. That thing doesn't leave even when you're sleeping. I've tried leaving coffee and biscuits next to the computer and seeing if it would write it itself. Unfortunately, it doesn't. I have to physically sit down <laughs> with, my, and with my little fingers start typing words and letters and sentences. Now, one of the chapters in my new book, The Shadow Masters, which will be released by Tri-Day sometime in October, uh, talks about Africa. What basically I have done is I uncovered uh, how international corporations, big behemoths such as Halliburton and Company, are working hand in glove with the world, European and North American governments, the Israelis, the, the, um, the Russians, even the Chinese are there, of course, in Sudan, uh, the Americans, the Canadians, the, the French, the English, so all of them are working and also with all the top NGOs in the world from Human Rights Watch to CARE to Oxfam, etc. And they have only one objective in mind, I'm talking about Sudan, that is to get rid of all the blacks living there so that they can get at the natural resources under their feet. Now, I didn't go with any, uh, uh, as a tourist, on a tourist visa, and I didn't go as an embedded reporter with anybody. I went with a group of very trusted comrades at Secret Service, and all of us, unto the teeth, went to the areas which we thought necessary to go and see the things that were being done there to the people. And it's absolutely amazing. Africa is an amazing continent. You know, for $20,000, you can kill an elephant. For about 15000 you can kill a, a lion. For maybe 8000 you can kill a zebra. And for about 20 bucks, you can kill a black person. And about $100, you can kill his whole family. That's Africa. And until you're there, you don't really understand it. So what I've done in this you were telling me you've got photos so hardcore you probably can't even put them in your book. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, you know, the, the Spanish version of this book was released last year. All right, just as because I was in Spain, as, you know, Bilderberg was first released in Spain. You know, this book was released in Spain. My publisher had a look at the photos. You know, they met with the lawyers and they said, we cannot do this. We cannot release these photographs. So basically, we just released a few. But again, I will talk to Chris Miller again and see if we can actually get some of these photographs in the book. But the point is that, again, it's, 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 it's an amazing continent of contrast. You can see literally cultures which have been untouched in the last 300 years. Well, Daniel, years. give us a window into this. It's important because you were there. You said you went with Special Forces people. Uh, you got a lot of courage. Talk about adventure. I hope that's in the upcoming Bilderberg movie. Uh, tell us some of what you saw. Well, again, uh, uh, some of the things that you see is uh, the uh, long-lasting you know, everybody has assumed over the the last decades and, and several generations, especially since the Second World War, you know, the British and the Americans, the Israelis and the Americans, these things no longer exist. You know, the Americans are fighting the Israelis, the Israelis, the British, the British, the Americans, the Russians, the Chinese, the Chinese, the French. Everybody's fighting each other. They're no longer, they're no longer friends. They're just temporary partners, all right, in this quest for the natural resources. And again, go back to the natural resources, and I do have to go in a couple of minutes. There are people waiting outside from, from uh, television crew, I don't know, from where. But the point is that what you actually have is, again, we're at a point where we can, you know, make a substantial jump to 10 billion people in population, and the only way we can do this, the only way, is through nuclear energy, or we're going to go down to about 2 billion people if we stay with this, you know, nonsense. Okay. Is good. Anybody sure, can sure. Daniel, Daniel, we've got you on the schedule for another three or four minutes. Can you send somebody to the door to, to get that TV crew in there? I can probably do that. I will okay, good. Well, let me just ask you these final questions here in the time we've got then, but can't wait to have you said in the next few weeks you come back on for an hour, correct? Uh, well, you know, we'll, we'll definitely see. It all depends on the Hollywood people, exactly what they have in mind, if there's promotion or not. No, regardless, I wanted to, when I talked to you yesterday, you said that you'd probably come on the next few weeks so we can talk more, because I want to talk about the intel you got from Bilderberg 2009, because I know you, as you've said, have people that have attended Bilderberg that you uh, know. I don't know how much of what we talked about off air I can even say. That's another issue. Did you see the articles about the meeting two weeks ago before Bilderberg, right before it, of David Rockefeller, of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, of Warren Buffett, where they admit here that, you know, basically they don't want people to think they're an alternative to world government and that the meeting was over population, that it was all about reducing world population uh, and that they really want to get this job done. Uh, your comments on this group they're now calling? I, I, haven't, I haven't seen it, but, you know, it's, again, it's, 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 you know, the, the, uh, the, it's the policy of the World Wildlife Fund, you know, the genesis of, you know, of the two degenerates, the uh, Prince Bernard of the Netherlands, one of the founders of the Bilderberg Group, and, of course, the, 
the consort of the uh, Queen Elizabeth II of England, Prince Philip. Uh, you know, both Nazis, both degenerates, and, uh, you know, that's their policy. Genocide will reduce the world population, which, again, it's more or less the same policy as Greenpeace or, or Al Gore. You know, uh, go green, green is good, uh, reduce the way we live, and obviously, you know, back to the caves. That's not good. That's idiotic. And anybody who follows it, again, has to understand why they're talking about it. But, again, maybe we can talk about this the next time. Absolutely. Neo-feudalism. Uh, Shadow Masters, though, it's, it's going to come out in the fall or winter of uh, this it's year in the United States? Daniel? Yeah, it's going to come out in the fall. Very, very exciting. Uh, just in the last minute or two, with you know, any key information that you haven't covered that you've gotten from Bilderberg this year, any inside intel? I'm sorry, I didn't hear anything you said. Any extra info on what happened in Bilderberg 2009? Well, actually, yes. I'm just working on my Bilderberg report right now. Uh, there's a lot of information. I have a 73-page you know, report from these people, and I'm going through very, very slowly through it. And when I have the whole thing done, what we'll do is we'll post it on my website. And that's DanielEstelin.com? Or oh, oh, BilderbergBook.com. All right. Well, uh, Daniel, I appreciate your time. And, again, I'd like to get you up for a full interview in the near future. I hope the family's doing well. Everybody's doing well, and again, I want people to remember the Seething Productions and the New World Order, you know, they went after us and they blindsided the people in the film, and obviously, you know, these people, one way or another, have, they, we have to let them know, but certainly we don't agree with them. Did they promise you that it wasn't going to be a hit piece? Uh, you, uh, you know, again, it, it doesn't really matter at this point, you know, it's he said, she said, but the point is that, you know, you don't follow somebody around for a year and a half not to have them in a the film. You know what I mean? So the intention was to have me there as a centerpiece, but unfortunately, I didn't say enough stupid things. So, you know, obviously you couldn't have me in the film. You know, as I said, you know, there's everything I say makes perfect logical sense. I can explain yeah. to you well, no, I... what today called the Bilderberg was called Venetian ability 800 years ago, why language no. you know, creates cultures and nations and not the other way around. I agree but with you. Want, you want people who are toilet seats screaming the government did it. Yeah, well, we've got to somehow reach out to the public. You know, we, we, none of us are perfect, but we have been somewhat effective at waking a lot of people up, and then they can find more uh, eloquent and refined folks like like you, Daniel uh, Estelon. But, you know, we all do the best job we can, but I agree. The film is somewhat of a distortion. Overall, we're going to make lemonade out of these lemons. Daniel, we will talk to you again very, very soon. Godspeed. Congratulations on all your success. Take care, Alex. Take all right. care. There he goes from Spain, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, John, go ahead and let him go. Thank you. Uh, don't forget, folks, if you want to see the Bilderberg Group in living color, understand the master plan, in-game blueprint for global enslavement, this is the film to get, InfoWars.com. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. I've told you for a long time it's important to be self-sufficient. And today, that's more important than ever. We need to be independent. And food and water is the key. You'll never have to stand in a bread line until you have your own bread. You'll never have to go to the Superdome and beg for FEMA to take care of your family in any emergency if you simply prepare. No one is going to take care of your family in the final equation with you. You know eFoodsDirect.com is still able to ship storable food that's safe from E. coli, salmonella, genetic alteration, or Chinese imports. And they do it at almost half the cost of last year's grocery prices. Call 1-800-409-5633 or on the web go to eFoodsDirect.com. Visit eFoodsDirect.com and look over the fine list of high quality, freeze-dried, and dehydrated foods they have to offer. Watch the free videos. Look at their online catalog. Or give them a call at 1-800-409-5633. Again, 800-409-5633 or on the web at eFoodsDirect.com. Take action today. The first step is getting storable food. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Yeah, I, uh, just to finish up with the whole Daniel Esselin thing, what happens is, I, I, I learned a lot of stuff behind the scenes. So Daniel's really a very interesting guy. 
and I have a lot of connections and things, and so that's why two years ago he told me the people that bought the Terminator franchise were going to make a major motion picture. It's going to be along the lines of Angels and Demons. I mean, I don't, you know, it'd be a big thriller. Uh, that's what I've got scuttlebutt in Hollywood. I mean, I, I made some phone calls two years ago about this, and then I almost forgot about it. And uh, then Daniel was going to come on about a week ago, and people were 